action is another really big factor which contributes to your overall enjoyment as well as the price. And here is why this is such a big impact on the price of an instrument. It's often said that on a digital piano, more than half the cost of the piano uh, is the action on its own. And on a grand piano, it's not quite half, but you're definitely looking at 20, 30% of the cost of the instrument is wrapped up in either the construction or the preparation of the action. And here's why. There is an enormous number of parts that go into a grand piano. Uh, and so just the sheer complexity of how this action is built, assembled, and designed on its own would certainly add a, an incredible amount of cost to the instrument. Uh, and different manufacturers will have many different approaches uh, to how they design it, how they build it, how they prepare it, uh, and how well it lasts out in the field. You know, whether you're using a laminated key stick or a solid wood key stick, um, you know, the length of the key, the geometry involved, whether it's using composite parts or whether it's using all wood parts, whether the hammer is a single felted or a double felted, whether the shank is a particular type of wood and how well, uh, you know, it's balanced. And you have different levels of fanaticism as you go through uh, all of the different price ranges. And for every one of these parts, you can get into essays on whether one particular design versus another particular design is the most advantageous route to go. Uh, and so basic designs that don't receive a lot of time and regulation to refine them and don't really uh, try and push the envelope in terms of innovation are not very expensive. And a lot of Chinese manufacturers uh, will supply you an action like that for $800, $1,000 as a manufacturer. It's not a big deal. Um, but you're not going to get a very stable action or a very consistent action or one capable of translating a lot of nuance. Um, as you go through uh, the various price ranges, um, the biggest difference tends to be um, the time that they take to regulate the, the action, meaning how much time they're spending to adjust every single one of these tiny little components so that it's operating perfectly. Uh, and then the second big one is materials. Um, the cost difference between a basic hammer and a really premium hammer that's you know got nice uh, felt on it, double felted, uh, the time that they take to choose uh, the shank of the hammer, how well uh, you know the damper felt is regulated, it gets insane uh, to the point where some manufacturers are spending 40 or 50 hours regulating uh, an action, and those are being done by artisans which are being paid you know, 40, 50, 60 dollars uh, per hour as well. And so even before you get into the cost of materials, you're already looking at several thousand dollars at the manufacturing level uh, to get this action arriving in a showroom absolutely perfect. So a uh, huge range in cost, materials and design uh, in actions. And for somebody who's a more advanced player, this is going to be one of the most critical uh, points, critical decisions uh, that you are going to make.